We're finally here. The entrance should be nearby. about to put an end to it all. <sighs> this is a place I once sealed off with my own hands. <sighs> the entrance to Raiden Makoto's realm of consciousness. <sighs> it looks like she will no longer allow me to do with this body. As I please. Huh? What are you talking about? And who is she? Makoto? <sighs> Follow me. We meet again, Traveler. This body is an assistant to the One Within, but it is also the guardian of the rules. Should the One Within wish to stray from the rules, this body shall stand in her way. Wait! Paimon knows that voice! Is that... the puppet? You have wandered the realm in my body, and you appear to have grasped the true essence of eternity. You believe your present self has greater certainty than your former self. Thus, you believe your present self is correct. Don't you? But have you really been enlightened with new ideas? Or have you been degraded by irreversible erosion? I'm here to show you my answer. We are both warriors. And the dialogue we must now have shall be conducted by the Blade alone. The discomfort I was experiencing earlier was caused by the Shogun rejecting my continued use of her body. As she indicates, once I started entertaining the idea of change, I became hostile in her eyes. But inside a realm of consciousness, I exist independently of her. She cannot affect me in this way. Though she is a puppet, the Shogun has her own consciousness too. When necessary, she appears here to confront me. Uh, Hyman gets that everyone has their internal battles and stuff, but not like this! It's a bit extreme! Hey, showdown with the Shogun? <sighs> Never thought we'd see that day! 
The rules I set for the Shogun are... No. The Shogun herself is the manifestation of my past ideals. The very foundation stone of eternity. It shall not be easily swayed. I would not try to change her if it wasn't necessary. Isn't there any other way? Can't you talk it through or something? But they both just want the best for Inazuma. My form is a symbol of supreme majesty in which has been vested power over all the realm. It is the cohesive embodiment of all that constitutes the Raiden Shogun. It inherits A's pain, the pain of inevitable loss that comes as she moves forward. So too does it inherit her determination to reach eternity. Every action undertaken is for the sake of resisting erosion. Determination, courage, love, hatred, all of these will be degraded and distorted by the incessant flow of time. Only rules shall remain constant for eternity. Those were my thoughts when I created you. Now, they are towering obstacles that I have no choice but to overcome. You wish to make yourself my enemy? I am your past, the everlasting law, the guardian of eternity. And I am she who promised a dream to her subjects. Ride an A! In the end, even the proud and mighty Oni Maiden was cut down in disgrace. Though your blade has been cleansed of her blood and filth, never shall it shine as brightly as it once did. Illusion shattered! <clears throat> Absurd! Shine down! Strike to oblivion! Be The eye sweeps the land! There is no escape! Now you shall perish! Ha! The Kitsune Sakura blossoms that once filled the skies fell to the ground as pitch black rain. As long as the ley lines flow, the relentless erosion of time will never stop.
Lightning falls on the land of eternity. It appears your martial prowess has not dulled. But how long can your will remain strong? How the heck? In this realm of consciousness, her existence is tenacious indeed. She was built to resist erosion. Her will is stronger than any other living beings, including you and me. Maybe. But I have to prove to her that my present will is no product of erosion. The future I shall forge will be a grand undertaking. One that will be resistant to erosion. If I don't do this, the Shogun's rules can never change, and Inazuma can never move forward. This is my duty. No matter how long this battle may last, months, years, centuries, and no matter how many times we must fight, I will defeat her. Five hundred years ago, humanity proved their strength in battle. Here in the present, they rely on their ambition to challenge wayward practices, tear them out like the diseased wood of an old sakura tree, so that new, healthy branches might spring to life in their place. It is about time that I learn to trust them. I understand that. But if the dreams of which Makoto spoke are true eternity, a short moment for which the Shogun does not exist is nothing to fear. I fight for the everlasting future of Inazuma. However long the battle may last, it is but a drop in the ocean of eternity. I vow to the subjects of Inazuma that I shall one day return. This is my oath. Please, be my witness. During my absence, I place everything in Miko's hands. B but this means that... Pass on my words. Looks like we got kicked out. Oh, what do we do? Are we really just gonna leave A and the Shogun to keep on duking it out in there forever? She was making sense. And maybe this is the only way to change the Shogun's rules, but still... Right? Also, A can be pretty stubborn at times, and has a history of rushing into difficult situations. What if she gets too obsessed with winning, and she forgets why she's there in the first place? It could happen, and then she might never leave again! Yeah, we should help her out, like we did last time! The quicker she gets through this, the better! Is there any way we can cut down how long she needs to spend in there? Or, you know, help her win the fight? Well, whatever. We can't let anything bad happen to A while she's in there. Oh, but we also can't get in there anymore. Okay, well, first things first. We gotta find a way back in. Oh, come on, Brain Juice. Don't feel time on now. Um, okay, maybe if we both ram into it at the same time really, really hard. Oh, you're right. Paimon nearly forgot about her! Who knows if 
she really understands these consciousness realm playing thingies more than we do, but there's no one else we can turn to. Ugh. All right, up the mountain we go. Someone's not in the best of moods. Hmm, let me guess. You're all tangled up in another situation and need me to unravel it for you. I hope you realize how lucky you are. If it was anyone else, I don't think I'd have the patience to keep greeting them with a smile after the first few times. But you're always smiling! That was a figure of speech, do you understand? Nitpicking my turns of phrase, mm, the sheer audacity. Oh, okay, I see. So, Aze decided to palm Inazuma off on the humans, while she goes off on her own to fight a fierce battle that doesn't even have an end date. Impossibly stubborn. Jumps straight to the most extreme course of action imaginable, presumes her sheer will can see her through, despite a near-impossible goal that requires nothing short of the very peak of her abilities. <laughs> yes, that sounds like A, all right. You know as well as I do that she's always been like this. Why start fretting about it now? Rushed into it without thinking. <laughs> well put. Oh, she acts like such a child sometimes. So you seem to be under the impression that I am able to offer some sort of help? Who gave you that idea? Uh-huh. You're learning, little one. But really, the truth of the matter is that I don't know much more about Raiden Makoto's realm of consciousness than you do. All I know is that it's the foundation of the sacred Sakura, and from what I've heard it's a little different from A's plane of euthymia. Because Raiden Makoto is no longer alive? Not just because of that. The nature of the space itself is different in some way. But I can only speculate. You're the ones who have actually been there, so you tell me. What was it like? Anyway, we needn't worry about the details too much. It'll just be a little difficult to explain things later on, that's all. First things first, follow me to the entrance. <laughs> 